just stay where we are because you don't work as a team what's going on ladies and gentlemen this is your boy crypto three coming at you on december i don't even know today's date hold on <laughs> Coming at you on December. Come on, man. Show me the date. This fucking computer. 14th. All right. It's the 14th, man. Coming at you on December 14, 2017. All right. First thing I want to do, man, uh, I want to say thank y'all for watching. All right. Now that I got that over with. Um, I want to try to show you guys who, who more for newbies who are uh, who are uh, trying to learn how to use these exchanges, how to use an exchange called Cryptopia. Okay, um, it's it's fairly easy to use, and uh, I'm just gonna make this quick and simple, and get out y'all's hair. Okay, and don't forget to hit that you know that like button down there and stuff like that, and uh, don't forget to subscribe, man. You know it, it can't never hurt. You can always unsubscribe if you don't like it. You know what I'm saying? So uh, without further ado, okay. okay. So assuming that you've already de deposited your main currency into your Cryptopia account that you're wanting to use for exchange, whether it be a Bitcoin or a Litecoin or a Dogecoin or a Tether or the other one, we're working from there, okay? So what we're gonna do is go to our Cryptopia account. This is our landing page. This is what we will first see when we log in. Go up here to exchanges, once that pops up, Click on markets one time, save the calorie, only one time, no double click here, okay? Boom. Now what's gonna happen is, it's already selected on the Bitcoin market, so it's basically about to show us and has shown us what we can trade with Bitcoin, all these coins, right? But we're not gonna be in that Bitcoin market. What we wanna do, we wanna go to that Litecoin market because that's what we have. And say we have one Litecoin, let's just use that for, for tutorial sake. I, I don't have any in here right now, so I can't show you. But let's click on the Litecoin one. And it's going to go ahead and populate up in here the altcoins that we can buy with the Litecoin. Give it one second. All right, awesome. So say we wanted to um, exchange our Litecoin for a Digibyte. Go ahead and type in the abbreviation for Digibyte up here where it says search market. So that'd be DGB. Boom, there it is. Click once, save the calorie, people. Save the calorie. Okay, let this pop up. <coughs> it's a little slow today. <coughs> okay, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna scroll down, man. We're gonna scroll down, dude. All right? Now, we're gonna have to pretend this is one Litecoin in here, because I don't have any Litecoin in this account right now, okay? But for some odd reason, I do have some Digibyte, and I totally forgot about these. I got 392. So we, though, are going to focus on these sell orders right here because we want to buy. So we want to talk to these people that are selling. We want to work with them, right? All right. And it goes from cheapest to most expensive, you know? So the cheapest person selling Litecoin, last four digits are... 8000. Okay, so we want to go cheapest first. So let's go ahead and click on his uh, his sell order. Boom, just one click. Okay, so he's selling 10,665 Digibyte for 0.854 Litecoins, including the fee. Okay, well, say we don't have you know 0.854 Litecoins, say we only had 0.2 Litecoins. What we're going to do is just change the total to 0.2. Point Two, and it will automatically repopulate this list and adjust to how many digibytes you're going to get, including the fees for 0.2 Litecoin. So since we put in 0.2, it readjusted it to 2,495 digibyte for 0.2 Litecoins. At this point, if you're happy with that, you hit the buy digibyte. I'm going to hit it, but it's not going to do anything because I don't have any Litecoins. Boom, see, I'm getting a little air on my lower right-hand corner, but you can't see it because my face is probably in the way. But um, same thing with selling Digibyte, you know? If I wanted to sell these Digibyte, which I don't right now, um, you know, so say I, I wanted to sell it to this buy order over here, I would sell it, and actually this starts from most expensive and then goes down to the cheapest. So I would click on the most expensive because I want to sell it for 
for the for the most I can get it for for the for, for the most Litecoin. So I would click on the first one. Boom. But say I only wanted to sell a hundred of them. You know what I would do is up here just type in a hundred. I don't I don't want to sell fifteen thousand because I don't even have that in this account. I just want to sell a hundred. So just type in one zero zero, and it will automatically readjust this list to see how many Litecoin I'm going to receive, including the fee for selling. Woo! Man, that came out of nowhere. For selling 100 Digibyte. Ladies and gentlemen, it is pretty much that. Peace out.